There are three kinds of laws in this world. There are spiritual laws. The Bible calls them the law of liberty, the law of the spirit. They exist. They govern the spiritual world. <laughs> they govern the spiritual world. That place, there is no way, there is no way to manipulate things, there is no way to maneuver things. You are given what it is yours. You are denied what is not yours. Angels don't manipulate. Demons don't manipulate. God doesn't get involved to manipulate. It's the law of the spirit. In that law, the stronger rules over the weaker are brutally so. No mercy. No mercy. In the spirit realm, if they're killing somebody, they're killing somebody. No mercy. If they need somebody's blood, they get it. <laughs> no mercy. Once they have killed the person, except a higher power resurrect the person, the person is dead. It's dead. That's the Lord that operated that you see that Daniel was praying. Even though he was a righteous man, but he was under a particular jurisdiction. Where it was not allowed for prayers to be answered, except the one prayed directly to the devil, who was ruling in that place. And he was being deputized by the prince of Persia, which will soon be displaced by the prince of Grecia. You see, and Michael was sent by the Lord that, you know, my heart connects with the, God said, my heart connects with the heart of Daniel, and he has asked for stuff, and we need to go and deliver to him. And Michael said, well, I go there. No, an angel said, I go there. And then he could not break through. And God had to reinforce Michael that because of Daniel, not because of the land, just because of a righteous man. You know, and it was a fight, it was a battle. Serious battle. And the angel said, I was, I was, I was, I was holding down for 21 days that I could not come. Angel of the Lord. Nobody circumvent things in the spirit realm. That's the reason why you cannot fake anointing. Is he that is there? I used to tell people whether they say somebody is a false prophet or is a real prophet. Miracle is miracle. Wonder is wonder. Sign is sign. Healing is if somebody has a headache and somebody uses evil spirit to heal the person, he's healed. <laughs> God, God wasn't arguing. Moses wasn't arguing with the magicians in Egypt who threw down their rods and became snakes. They threw down rod, became snakes. And Moses also had to throw down his own rod. But one, one snake swallowed another. You see? He was real. Everything Moses did, they undid. Until they got to a point, they said, this is the fingers of God. This is the finger of God. In the spiritual realm, there is no way to circumvent him. You can't fake spiritual anointing. Whether negative realm or positive realm, you can't fake. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. If it's working, it's working. If it's not working, there are, there are things to do. It's part of what I want to talk about today. There are things to do for somebody to throw rod down, even as magician, for it to become, raw, to, to become snake. There are things they have sacrificed. Now, the law of the spirit operates. Then there is another one, laws of humans. The legacy system by which human wrongs their fears of the earth. The heavens of heaven, don't forget, they're for God. Their heart has he given to the children of men. And how do the children of men run the earth? By laws. For instance, right now, Gordy and Reki are married by the law of this land. Very serious. It looks simple. By means of them committing, I do, I do, and there's somebody signing it and a sign. They have it. That thing is a very serious thing. That if it are Reiki or God were to be multi billionaire, it own jointly and is forever. You can't come out one day and say, My money is my money. You know, <laughs> you just joke. The woman just sues you and say, I need three quarters of that money. You have lost it. <laughs> By means of what you sign, one little paper. That's the law of humans. It works. There's another law that people don't know. 
That's another law that people don't know. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people understand spiritual law. The law they understand the law of the spirit. They love, don't understand the legal system of humans. But they don't understand the law of the arts. Sometimes, some people who understand the use it to their, to their own affairs, they call it mem- nemesis, they call it law of karma. It's the law of the earth. By which things that happen through you have other corresponding actions that will happen through you. From your thoughts. Oh, you remember, God told the children of Israel, the place where you're going, say, be careful. Don't commit the sin of the land because, because of the sin. Even the land is permitting them. <laughs> that God said, I'm not just chasing these people out of this land. The, the land is crying. The land is crying against them. The land is chasing them out. That's why one of the things that God had uh, Jeremiah do to be able to bless the land of Israel, he said, he said Prophet Saul, son of man, say, oh heart, oh heart, 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 hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> there are places you have to get to that you have to speak to the earth. Because of the actions of people and the corresponding actions of the earth. One of such laws is that in this life, there are forces. There are forces. Have you not seen magicians who will be looking at an object like this and will use their eyes to lift the object? Yes, everything that I'm saying. Anyway, don't be careful because I keep telling you go to Google, go to YouTube. Be careful so you don't go and become witch. There are places on Google and what's on YouTube to learn how to become a witch and you will become. After some time, you just discover you have repeated something. You just discover a particular spirit begin to visit you. For real. It doesn't matter who you are, even if you converse Christianity. If you, if, if you double to them, you, 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 are, <laughs> you, are, you are in for it. That everything you despise, you never become. They are forces. For instance, now, I can, I can, I can, I can, uh, this, my phone is working on and I'm seeing everything I'm saying over it. And I can touch it and it will stop. But I can also be calling Reiki. They, they, people make, uses, make use of the forces of the heart, the law of the heart, the heart, the law of gravity, the law of, the law of uh, what do we call it, uh, uh, emotion, and all of those whatever, they are part of the law of the heart. People understood it, they say, okay, matters can fly in the sky. They understood it. There are also laws that go from the seas. That's why people can surf on top of it. There are things you can't do within it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And this guy despised the wedding. Till today, he keeps telling me, Pastor, I'm looking for somebody to marry. Pastor, I'm looking for someone. It's very hard for me because one day I've confronted him before. He was telling me some few things. I confronted him. I said, you were like this. He asked me, tell me who I am. It was last year. And I began to tell him, this is who you are. This is how you have been proud. This is what you did. Even when you were with us, this is what you did. You told me once, God asked you to move away from this church. Then you moved to another church. And I knew God didn't ask you. And I called you. Come on. Come. Let us come and talk. You said, God told you, I'm going to be teaching you bad things. Me. And I called you. I said, come, let us. I know Demon was talking to you. Then he moved to another church. Immediately he started sleeping with people there. And he closed down the church. He practically closed down the church by sleeping with people. <laughs> and I, when he now told me last time, I want you to tell me who I am. I said, when you told me that time, that God asked you to, but I knew it's not God. It's pride. Because that time he told me, he said, ah, I know some friends of Jesus. Very close friends of Jesus. I'm reading their books now. I said, friends of Jesus. He said, yes. <laughs> say, friends, I've been born again before this guy almost was born. I've never known friends of Jesus that have books. <laughs> I just live my normal life with the normal book of the Bible. <laughs> and it's been enough. And I wanted to tell him, you despise somebody's marriage. The art marked you out for marriage. That is why, you know a lot of the time, because God understands the law that governs both the spirit realm, the laws that govern the, the human, human, human society, and the laws that govern the earth, the universe. God will tell you, rejoice with those who are rejoicing. Cry with those who are crying. He said, if your enemy is in trouble, he's not even talking to Christians. He proverb. He said, if your enemy is in trouble, you better help him. He said, if they are in a major issue, he said, if they fall, he said, do not laugh. 
He said, because if you laugh, God will look at them. He said, Lord, God will look at them and turn from them and make you the next victim. <laughs> he even told us, he said, don't think evil of people in your heart. He said, birds in the air will carry your thoughts and go and give it to them. <laughs> Unbelievers can know what you are thinking about them. Let him not, not to talk about what you talk about them. You'll not be wondering, why is this person behaving to me like this? In the spirit realm, they have connected what you said. They have connected your spirit. So they disconnect. All of these things are amplified when you now have the Holy Spirit. Very much amplified. And one of the things I'm trying to say is that when you come to the presence of God like this, don't despise. Just flow. Just flow. There's so much going on. Somebody is, somebody is setting the atmosphere and watching them and whatever. There is so much going on. Somebody's life can literally change. Can literally change in this side and, or to this side. Somebody just tried to touch the hack that was trying to fall. He died there. Somebody brought the hack into his house. His life changed. One was called Perez Uza. The other one was called Obededo. The king now envied him as they bring the ark. The other one, they call him Perez Uza. We are God broke hot on Uza. Be careful. That's why one of the things I want to say is that don't despise anybody's anointing. I've come to a point that don't despise anybody's anointing. Oh, this person is, uh, is using lipstick. This person has wig on. This person has... Uh, ah! There's a difference between the anointing of the Holy Spirit and what a man does with his body. <laughs> Maybe you are hearing that for the first time. <laughs> Most of the people who train me are not like me. As a matter of fact, they will use Rolex uh, pendants. They, the kind of cloth they even wear. You, uh, sometimes I see them on Facebook and I'm just tired. I just see the way they use all the rings of this life and the way they do their hair. I'm talking about evil men and I'm just totally tired. And God says, it's, it's up to you, it's your own personal issue. It's your own personal issue that you are tired. I'm not tired of them. <laughs> you think it is cloth God relates with? Or what people put on or what do they put on that God relates with? That's not what God relates with. No. No. That's your own personal preference. Or personal instruction from heaven. Or the way God wants you to go about your life, or your stream, or your tribe in the spirit realm. There are different tribes in the spirit realm. You know, different tribes. Never despise anybody's anointing. Any anointing you despise can never be yours. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Any anointing you despise can never be yours. Any anointing that you despise can never be yours. Anointing is like a double edged sword. It blesses those who bless it. It curses those who curse it. You see? Very important. Very important. Very important. Very important. It's a law of the earth that what you despise never comes to you. It's a law of the earth that what you despise never comes. It never comes until you rep re repent of your spiting. You have, to you have to totally repent of it and the heart will register that he has repented. <laughs> then it will come to you. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. Very, very important. Don't ever forget that. Hallelujah. 